In this lesson, we're going to be translating rational functions. This is section 9.3 in the Algebra 2 book. We've already covered chapter 9, all about working with rational functions, which is fractions. And we learned how to simplify them and factor them to break them down. And we even looked a little bit at their graphs and saw that the graphs always had these two parts to it called branches, the two separate little pieces. We um, already talked about the concept of a vertical and horizontal asymptote as being the vertical line and the horizontal line that your branches approach but never touch. And in this lesson we're going to be taking these graphs and shifting them up, down, left, and right like we did with our five common graphs on the previous lesson. Okay, so when you have the graph of a rational function you are going to look to the bottom of the fraction to see your left and right shift. If you see x plus a number in the bottom, it's shifting to the left, and if you see x minus a number in the bottom of the fraction, you're shifting to the right. On the end of the fraction, if you see a plus number, then you're shifting up, and if you see a minus number on the end of the fraction, you are shifting down. So looking at our example at the bottom of the slide, y equals 1 over x minus 2 minus 3, we would be shifting to the right 2 and down 3. So we go right 2, down 3, and then draw our branches from there. Now you can graph this in your calculator to get the picture that I have here on the screen. To type this into y equals, you want to put parentheses around the top of your fraction and then parentheses around the bottom. So you're going to put parentheses around the 1, and then divided by parentheses around the x minus 2, and then you'll have this minus 3 hanging on the end of it with no parentheses around it. Flipping the branches. If the coefficient that you have on the numerator of the fraction, which is the top of the fraction, is a negative number, then the branches of the graph will be flipped. In this example, we are shifting the graph left 3 because of the plus 3 in the bottom of the fraction. We're shifting down 2 because of the minus 2 on the end of the fraction. And then our branches are flipped, which means they sit in the top left and bottom right corner of our asymptotes instead of in the top right and bottom left like they normally would sit. The coefficient in the numerator of the fraction does not matter. It does not shift your graph up, down, left, or right. If that was a 2 or a 3 or 4 on the top of the fraction, it's not going to make a difference. The difference of the graph, um, depending on the number on the top, just pulls the branches away from where your asymptotes intersect each other. It just pulls them farther away. And that's not something you really need to focus on um, for Algebra 2. That's a concept that you would focus on later on in higher levels of math. The main thing that you understand for me is how to shift up, down, left, and right, and that the negative in the top of the fraction flips those branches around to be top left and bottom right instead of top right, bottom left. Okay. Here's three examples for you to try. I want you to describe how it's shifted and then sketch a graph on your paper. And pause the video until you're ready. So on the first one, we are shifting left 5 because of the plus 5 in the bottom of the fraction, and we're shifting down 1 because of the minus 1 on the end. So when you draw your branches, you want to go left 5, down 1, and then draw your branches in the top right and bottom left corner of those asymptotes. On the second one, we are shifting right 7, up 3. And the branches are also flipped because of the negative on the top of the fraction. So when you draw your graph, go right 7, up 3, and draw your branches flip. So this means top left, bottom right, in terms of your asymptotes, and not top right, bottom left. On the last one, we are shifting down 4. That's the only change to this graph. Draw your branches so that they are shifted down 4 and then put them in the top right, bottom left corners. Writing equations. Here we have the equation y equals 5 over x. We are trying to take that equation and shift it left 2 and up 3. Think about how that would affect the equation of the graph. The left 2 is going to put a plus 2 on the bottom of the fraction with x. The up 3 is going to put a plus 3 on the end of the fraction. So y equals 5 over x plus 2 and then plus 3 on the end. Writing the next equation, we're shifting it down 4, which is going to put a minus 4 on the end of your fraction. So y equals negative 2 over x with a minus 4 on the end for the shift of down 4.